if this is your first time here and you're interested in me, put your hands on. Put <laughs> hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan to Some. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some mac and cheese, and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. Ba ba boom! We're back to the drums. Back to the drums. We have another epic episode, don't we? Absolutely. Tell the good folks where we are today. Today, I'm so excited to try this place in Portland because I've been waiting to try it forever. We've been following them on Instagram forever. I and I've been looking at their food and thinking about what I would order once the time comes. And now we're finally eating lunch at Dirty Lettuce in Portland, Oregon. Dirty Lettuce. What's this place all about? It's all vegan. They started out as a food truck and they've opened up a storefront, which is great. And it was quite busy when we went there for lunch on the weekend. And it's Southern food, which is not something we have in Vancouver. And for it to be all vegan, so happy to eat here. They have an outdoor seating area that they share with some other restaurants but the weather was crazy. It was like rainy and sunny. So we sat inside. And like I said, I was quite busy at first. There were no free tables, but we waited a little bit and a table freed up. So we sat inside. Inside is very minimalistic in that it's not anything fancy. Like it's very simple, just a few tables and chairs. Uh, you get the cutlery and water yourself. Let's Talk about the food. I got the fried chicken plate, which came with three pieces of fried chicken and your choice of two sides. And they have a long list of sides. For my sides, I chose mashed potatoes, no surprise there, and mac and cheese. No surprise there either. Mm. What did you get? I got the ribs along with some fries and I got a dip that was some kind of a mustard based sauce. I didn't know what protein they would use for fried chicken and it ended up being seitan, which is not one of my more preferred proteins. <laughs> I don't like the texture of seitan really. And when it came out, I started cutting into it. The seitan was too loose. Like it didn't, it wasn't holding itself together very well. The batter was good. The batter was well seasoned. It was crispy. It was even a little bit spicy. So I think they do a good job with the batter, but the seitan, not a fan. The sides of mashed potatoes, I like like a thicker, chunkier mashed potatoes. And this one was almost too pureed, too smooth. It came with a lot of gravy. So that's great because I could drink gravy. So the mashed potatoes were good, not the best, but the thing is I love mashed potatoes so much you could give me like pretty much any version and I'd like it. And the mac and cheese, I felt like used a lot of nutritional yeast and that was the dominant flavor. It wasn't anything really fancy. It was super basic, super simple. So I didn't love the mac and cheese either. The chicken I quite enjoyed. I thought it was very nicely flavored. It wasn't too rough. It was tasty. I like seitan, so I don't share that dislike with Diana. Mashed potatoes, I thought it had almost too much gravy. It was almost like a soup, but it was very nicely cooked again. The gravy was good. The mac and cheese, I felt like it had way too much cayenne pepper on it. It didn't, it didn't need to be spicy. Does, does mac and cheese need to be spicy? Well, maybe it? their version. Okay. It was all right. I mean, I like my mac and cheese, not that spicy, I suppose. And I would have liked it to be a little bit more creamier. And it was lacking that. But overall, pretty decent mac and cheese as well. Shall we? I'm gonna add something because this is going to affect my score. Now, I couldn't finish my plate 
for lunch. So we took it home back to our hotel for leftovers to eat at night and I put it in the fridge. And then later at night, after taking it out of the fridge, something magical happened to the chicken and the seitan. It's like it firmed up because it was cool. And then when I started eating it at night, I was like, this is way better than the hot version. <laughs> I'd much prefer to eat cold fried chicken. You know how some foods are really good yeah. cold? Like, like pizza, we... fried chicken. <laughs> Diana hardly ever warms up her food yeah. for leftovers. So it's kind of weird to me. I like my food hot. Shall we? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh, my beautiful as well. Before we get into the ribs, let's get into subscribing to this channel. If you like what we do, if you like our content, do us a favor, do yourself a favor, press that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Remind them what the bell sounds like. Ding. Dong. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about rip. What do you think? I'm not usually a fan of ribs anyways, and these were made with seitan, which is fine actually. I feel like the seitan for ribs was better than the fried chicken. And it was slathered in this really good barbecue sauce. I don't usually love barbecue sauce, but I thought this one was really flavorful. I love barbecue sauce. One of my favorite sauces, I put it on the pizza, I put it on everything. And I thought these ribs were actually really good as well. Again, not too hard, not too chewy. Very nicely flavored, tasted really good, good consistency. Enjoyed it very much. I really like the dipping sauce, the mustard based one. I thought the fries went really well with that sauce. I really like like mustardy right. sauces. The fries wasn't much to write home no. either, like it was like, Crinkle cut like normal, yeah. nothing special, yeah. not seasoned or anything. Yeah, shall we? One, two, two three. Boom, we're gonna have Anyways, that's what we think. If you guys in Portland area or if you live there, go try it out, say hi to them, tell them Vegan Tucson sent you, and then let us know what you thought. Yo, D Dog, mm -hmm. would you go back to their letters and eat again? I would. Now, I know the other items like the catfish and some other things are made of seitan, but they had like calamari, I think that was made of mushrooms. So that might be interesting to try. And they have so many other sides. Maybe we should try some more of the sides. Who knows? Would you go back to Dirty Lettuce? Yes, I absolutely would. I probably wouldn't try any of the seafood stuff. I don't fuck with seafood. If you're regular here, you know that. But yeah, I would try that. If the chicken was good, I would get that again. The rib was very good, I would get the ribs again. And the dude who worked there, who was the owner, he was pretty cool. He was nice, he talked to us. So yes, I would go back, 100%. Check out this other place we ate at in Poland, on Diana's face. Did we like it? I don't know. Go watch the damn episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.